Strip systems are great for efficiency in dry and arid climates. One thing to consider, though, is the type of soil that you have in your garden or landscape that you are watering. Depending on the soil type, you will want to select an emitter that matches that texture. The different types of emitters will emit different amounts of water over a given amount of time. Most of these range from half a gallon to two gallons in home and garden uses. This is amount of water per emitter per hour. If you have a clay soil, you will want to select an emitter closer to a half gallon per hour rate. These soils cannot accept as much water over a given amount of time as compared to a sandy soil, which can handle a greater volume over time. So a two gallon emitter would be more appropriate for a sandy soil. The University of Wyoming Extension can help in determining the type of soil you have in your garden or landscape. Once you've determined your soil texture and you've set up your irrigation system, you'll need to run it for an appropriate amount of time to make sure that you do not have any major leaks, you do not have any pooling on top of the soil surface, meaning that you are over applying water, and that the water is actually going all the way through the root zone of the plants that you are looking to water. From the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Brian Sebade, and you're watching From the Ground Up.